Blighted properties are an issue in Schuylkill County. It's becoming a real danger for people living in Gerardsville. Two abandoned buildings have collapsed in the borough, including one early this morning, as Eyewitness News reporter Rachel Espiot shows us. It sounded like an avalanche. I didn't know whether it was out front, out back. In the middle of the night, this abandoned property on West Ogden Street collapsed. Deb Cuff lives across the street and says she could see the roof leaning forward even before it crashed down. It's an eyesore. It was an eyesore before it collapsed, too. So it's, just, it's a shame because I'm sure that at one time they were really nice houses. There are abandoned properties like this across the borough. Council members were already talking about what to do with these particular properties. But since the collapse, they now have to take emergency action. The borough wants to attack the blight problem. But this property and another on West Main Street collapsing throws a wrench in their attack strategy. We were finally in a position to having some extra money to do some of the blighted properties possibly. But these aren't quite the ones we chose. Crick says the goal was to work on the buildings that posed the most danger to people who live near them. The borough is trying to figure out how much it will cost to take the properties down. In Gerardsville, Rachel Espayat, Eyewitness News. It cost the borough about $20,000 to demolish the building that collapsed on West Main Street two weeks ago.